The RNC stage is being set, and in the city of Cleveland, anticipation is running high. With just weeks to go until the Republican National Convention, who will stand next to presumptive presidential nominee Donald Trump as his vice presidential pick? We've got the Republican Veep Stakes in WSJ campaign Q&A. One of the big names being floated is Senator Jeff Sessions of Alabama. You know, of course I would consider it if I were asked. He needs somebody that he can work with and trust. Sessions was one of Trump's earliest supporters, and having served in the Senate for nearly 20 years, he could bring important legislative experience to the ticket. Sessions is also aligned with Trump on some of the candidate's key issues, particularly immigration. Then there's Senator Bob Corker of Tennessee, another vocal supporter of Donald Trump. I think he has a tremendous opportunity um, to disrupt uh, the direction that Washington is moving in and create uh, tremendous opportunity. As chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, Corker could bring important foreign policy experience to Trump's ticket. His conservative voting record could help allay fears among Republicans that Trump is too liberal, and a former businessman, Corker would be viewed as a compatible running mate for the billionaire candidate. One female with VP potential? Oklahoma Governor Mary Fallon, who recently spoke to a local news station about what she could bring to a Trump ticket. Having governor experience, certainly congressional experience, and knowing how to deal with the federal government and from the standpoint of being a governor would certainly be very beneficial. Not only would Fallon help Trump navigate the political world, she could also provide a female counter to Hillary Clinton. For now, Trump is losing females to Clinton by a wide margin. And Fallon is a winner, as Trump likes to say. She has never lost an election. If Trump wants a VP who will give him an edge in crucial swing states, he could choose someone like Ohio Governor John Kasich or Florida Senator Marco Rubio. Though those former presidential candidates have been critical of Mr. Trump's policies. A politician like Senator Tim Scott of South Carolina may also be an option to give Trump more appeal among minority voters. While Trump has tweeted hints about his VP search, he isn't expected to formally announce his pick until the Republican convention is underway in mid-July.